Good morning, YouTube. I just woke up from one of those deep sleeps where you're just confused. Thankfully, I have my coffee. I wake up, make my coffee first thing every morning. I actually am not able to function if I haven't had my coffee. I usually give myself to drink it, relax, and then I'll get going with my day. Take that time to think about what I'm gonna do. I also make big water bottle full of BCAAs and a scoop of greens, which I'll show you guys right now. So I'll put a scoop of this in my water and then I'll also do a scoop of this and that just kind of helps get my water going for the day. But yeah, basically this is gonna be a full day of eating. I'm gonna make it as realistic as possible. I'm gonna do a proper introduction after I look a little better and didn't just roll out of bed. Just wanted to show you guys the two drinks that I make every single morning. I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Hey YouTube, we're back. I just pulled up to the gym. I've been really trying to cut my caffeine intake and I've done really good every morning for the past few days. I only have half calf coffee, but this is the first day for a workout. I needed some pre-workout or else I just wasn't gonna work out. Yeah, just got to the gym. It is 9.45 right now. I usually go to the gym fasted, so I haven't ate anything still. But yeah, that just works best for me. I don't mind training on an empty stomach, I feel lightest on my toes. I don't like working out if I feel bloated or anything or uncomfortable, but might not work for you. That's just what works for me. I don't know what I'm going to do. I've been really, really, really bad at recovery lately. Worked out, <laughs> worked out like three times on Saturday. I went for a run, I did a lift, and then I played pickleball with my friends that night. I am still so fatigued from it. My legs are freaking dead. I couldn't even go for a three mile run yesterday. I I had to stop at two miles and I had to walk. I've never done that before. My legs were just shot. So I don't know what I'm gonna go in there and do. Cause it's mainly my quads that are just done. I think it's cause I did back squats again for the first time and that might've been a lot of volume. So probably do some abs, probably do a little bit of my posterior of my body. So my backside, but I really don't train my upper body. It just holds mass so well. It, like I don't have to do anything jacked. I don't, I, it's something I'm actually kind of self-conscious about. My upper body is just so big. It's not big. I know. It's fine. I'm just being nitpicky. Anyways, catch up you guys at the gym. Bye. Hey YouTube, we're back from the gym. It was an okay workout. My legs were dead, but once I got in there, it wasn't too bad. I just did a little bit of everything. I didn't have any chicken or vegetables or anything prepped at when I got back to the house, so. There's this little shop right next door where you can get, oh shoot, that was sad. Pre-made meals. Got steak, bell peppers, onions, and mushrooms to put on it with this little sauce. Yeah, I'm gonna eat that small little meal right now and then I'm gonna shower, get ready, and I'm meeting my best friend at a coffee shop an hour or two. It's 11.30 right now, so this is breaking my fast. I'll probably have a little snack before I leave, so. Catch up with you guys then. Okay guys, I just got out of the shower and kind of got ready. Got ready. I'm still f really, really hungry. Um, so I'm having three rice cakes with some peach salsa, Trader Joe's peach salsa. Best salsa you can ever, ever, ever get. So good. So I topped two of those with peach salsa, another one with eggplant hummus. On top of them, you'll see like little crunchies. You get them from uh, sprouts. They're delicious. So, 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 so addicting. I usually top it with everything but the bagel seasoning, but I found this at Trader Joe's and it's so good. It has like a cheese, chipotle, cumin, salt, chili pepper. It's delicious. I put it on everything. This is my snack. It's only like 12.15. That was like a 30 minute break. I, I eat super light throughout the day and I usually backload all of my meals till the nighttime because that's when I get the hungriest. So get you guys around four or five or when I get hungry again. All right, bye. Oh my gosh. You live in Arizona, it's so, f it's getting freaking hot. <sighs> but just got coffee with my best friend Paige. We walked around the mall a little bit. And okay, this is so funny. When you guys see a sports car, do you ignore them too? Or is it just me? Like, I don't want to give them the satisfaction that their car is cool, so I never look at them or like give them any recognition. I don't know, I think that's so funny. Do you guys do that too? I feel like a lot of people might do that and no one talks about it. That's beside the point. I'm gonna go back home. It's 
220. I'm feeling kind of hungry, so I'm gonna make a snack or like a smoothie or something. Lay out in the sun and tan because you guys are seeing this color right here. That's hard work, dedication, and probably cancer. Catch you guys at home. Okay guys, just pulled into the garage, got home from TJ Maxx, and I know this is a full day of eating, but why not show you guys what I got at TJ Maxx? I got a thing to put in my coffee, it's called Skinny Syrups, I hate that name, chocolate caramel truffle, love the brand, love to put it in my coffee, it tastes delicious, never tried this flavor though, so I'm excited! And then I got this perfume, it's like 10 bucks, I'm not one of those people who's going to spend a bunch of money on perfume. I love the smell of vanilla though. Anything that's scented vanilla, or I love smelling vanilla. So that's always my go-to. And the last thing I got, I just don't have anything this color and or cut like this. It's a little yellow bodysuit from, it was like 10 bucks. I was like, yes, give that to me. Look at the little cut. Don't have anything cut like that. I don't own a lot of tank tops at all. I just don't really like showing off my shoulders, if I'm being honest. Maybe we'll, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. And I did. I got that bodysuit. So, I'm going to go inside. I'm going to get a snack. See you guys in a few minutes. Okay, guys. Made it back to the house. Made myself a little protein shake. One scoop of protein. One tablespoon-ish. I eyeball everything, but one tablespoon of cocoa powder. One tablespoon of espresso powder. Decaf. So, like, decaf grounds. And one scoop of PB2. Mix that all up with about five ice cubes, some almond milk, and here you have it. On the side with that, I just made two rice cakes. One with avocado and one with that peach salsa you guys saw. It's about 3.30. That's what I'm having for a little snack. I'll see you guys at dinner. I don't know what I'm going to eat. I'm kind of craving a burrito. I don't have any tortillas, so maybe we'll just go to Chipotle. I feel like it wouldn't be realistic if I ate out twice in a, in a video. Um, might be realistic because that's what I want. So I'll catch you guys at dinner. Okay. First of all, look how cute this bodysuit is. Look at that cute yellow and it has like a little underlining to it. So I've been taking off the tag. Look how cute. Ah, I got it from TJ Maxx. Best place in the world. Thank you for opening up. Oh my gosh. That's like the first place I wanted to open back up was TJ Maxx. <laughs> but anyways, I just wanted to sit down with you guys and kind of go over my full day of eating. It's only like five o'clock right now, so I'm not done with it, but I just kind of wanted to give some insight on how I go about my diet. Probably my junior year of high school, I started doing intermittent fasting, which is shortening your eating window. Usually what people do is 16-8 window. So they'll fast for 16 hours and eat from an eight in an eight hour window. So that would look like starting eating your first meal at 12 and ending at eight. So I've been intermittent fasting. I usually have my first meal around 12 or one o'clock, but I'm not too serious about it. And I'm not very picky about when I end, but I do like to condense my eating window just because I find I'm not crazy hungry in the morning or anything. Drink water, have some coffee. And usually I work out in the mornings or when I'm in school, I'll do my homework in the mornings. I keep myself super busy in the morning. So I, food really isn't in my, on my mind in the mornings anyways. But that's the deal. That's just what works for me. It might not work for you. When I first started getting into health and fitness, it was, I started lifting in eighth grade. I got into more like eating healthy and stuff around like my freshman, sophomore year of high school. And I was super OCD about it. I would track everything, weigh everything. I didn't eat anything that I didn't make. I got, I went really extreme with it. And so I kind of backed off a little bit. I was super OCD with tracking my macros, weighing everything to the gram. It was just too much for how young I was. I was in high school, who, who cares what the frick you eat? So I stopped tracking my macros. I stopped weighing my food. I haven't since. I've I don't weigh my food, I don't track anything, I don't weigh myself anymore. I used to be super OCD about weighing myself too, which is, at this point, at this time of my life, I'm just so over like weighing anything, tracking anything, how much I weigh, what I even look like. I feel like quarantine's just taught me like, who cares? Honestly, who, who cares? <laughs> I put that in my last video, but I'm just, health and fitness should add to your life and not subtract to your life. I feel like for so long, 
I've been so extreme with my health and fitness that it's been detrimental to my life and I'm tired of that, you know? My hormones, I still have hormone problems. Why do you think my skin <laughs> looks like this? I've messed myself up, honestly, I'm, and I'm reflecting back on this now, but I messed myself up. My hormones are so wacky. I haven't gotten a regular cycle since October and it's May. It's May. So if you're a guy watching this, I'm so sorry. I'll be done with this in a second. Yeah, that's been my number one priority right now. It's not how many calories I eat. I keep that in the back of my mind though. Since I did track for so long and since I did weigh my food, I'm really good at eyeballing and looking at portion sizes and knowing how much is kind of in a serving and I keep how many calories I'm eating in the back of my head. I have pretty good awareness around food and how many calories are in food. And that just kind of comes with experience. I think weighing your food and tracking your macros has great benefits and everyone starting on their fitness journey should learn that skill because it's a really, really, really good skill to have. But I'm just at a place in my life where I'm, I'm trying to balance my hormones, which is first and foremost. I, for so much growing up of my life, my fitness journey, I've been so extreme and so obsessive and so black and white. My efforts to be super healthy have been making me unhealthy and I'm on a journey right now to be healthy. <laughs> the end of the day, what's it all about if you're, you're not living for longevity? Anyways, that's a big, 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 big tangent. I want to come back to the point of that I think tracking your macros and learning how to count your calories is a great skill to learn how to have. Eat a bare minimum. I try to eat a bare minimum of 2,000 calories, 2,300. I kind of keep it in that range of 2,000, 2,300. Might be more, might be less. Who cares, right? Food should not control your life. Let me say that again. Food should not control your life. Okay, people? You're supposed to add to it. And if your relationship with it is all funky, like mine has been for so long, you're not alone. And I've been rambling for almost like seven minutes now. I hope that gave you a little bit of insight on my diet and how I go about it. I really just want to get better at listening to my body, what it wants. I'm not the best at it at all. I eat the same things every day, so I mean, that kind of goes against it. That's just out of an easy perspective. I just do that because it's easy. But, yes. Hmm. I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. I don't keep really any junk in the house. If I want something, I'd be willing to go out and get it. And <laughs> most of the time, I'm too lazy to do that, so I don't. <laughs> So yeah, I just, I keep healthy-ish, if you want to term it that. I hate classifying food as healthy and unhealthy, but I keep food in the house with minimal ingredients. There we go. And then if I want something crazy out there, wild, I have to go drive out and get it. It has to be that strong of an urge to do. Or I'll save it for like a social outing. I'm going to get brunch with friends or if I'm going to dinner, you know, I'll save those kind of meals for that kind of um, event or something like that. Anyways, that's my long rant. Man, I love this cute little color. I don't have anything this color. It's so soft. Okay, I'm gonna probably start making dinner. I'm not really craving anything. Nothing, nothing sounds good except for a burrito and I don't have a tortilla. So I might drive out and get something or I might just make my normal like veggie bowl. Kind of sounds Girls, you guys will see my next video or you guys will see my next thing that I eat. You don't care. Anyways, rant over <laughs> Okay, YouTube my phone's about to die. So we got to make this a quick one So here's what we got for dinner. We got some air fried onions and mushrooms Then we got three pieces of toast that one has almond butter on it hummus avocado with mushrooms and tahini and then a bowl of fruit with some apples, mango, and blueberries. Doesn't that look good? My phone's about to die, so I'll see you guys at the next meal. Do you guys ever just <clears throat> sit on your floor and eat? This is a good sandwich. Mm. I would usually have a protein for dinner, like ground beef or chicken or eggs or shrimp. Took the L for dinner. Can't win them all. Win some, you lose some. We have our next meal. It's about 7 p.m. And we have a bowl of oatmeal. It's about 
two thirds cup and a bunch of almond butter. I have been loving almond butter lately. It's so, so good. It's like salty, oh my gosh, but that's what it is. That's my next meal. So right now I'm just gonna eat this real quick and then get back to editing this. Catch you guys at the next meal. Okay, YouTube, last meal of the day. It's about 8.30 right now, and honestly, I'm not very hungry, but I know I'm gonna get hungry, and I just wanna get it over with. So, we have a bowl of mangoes underneath with apples and a bunch of crackers right there, and then we got an RX bar. Super yummy. This, this one and like the chocolate peanut butter is probably my favorite. But, so yeah, I'm gonna have that. Gonna have this bowl of fruit. And that's gonna conclude my full day of eating. I will see y'all in the morning, okay? Good night. Good morning, YouTube. It's the next day. I'm recording this clip because I thought it might be helpful if I give you guys a little physique update. A lot of you might have no idea what I look like. So in this next clip, you're gonna see what I look like. Also, I wanna add I stayed up later than I thought I would and I got hungry. So I had another RX bar at like 11. I know, I know, I know. I didn't share it, I didn't show it, but I ate it. That last meal you guys saw was an RX bar and a bowl of fruit. So I had another RX bar along with that. On next clip, you're gonna see what I'm looking like and then I'll close out this vlog. Okay, YouTube, so you saw my physique update. I'm actually really, really, really happy with where my body's at, and it's so cool that I'm able to even say that because I feel like for so long, I just nitpick myself apart, but for once, it's so cool to be able to look at, back at the video I just made or be able to watch yourself and not hate it. Females will know what I'm talking about, but God, it's so, I'm so grateful to be able to look in the mirror and just like not tear it apart. It just shows how much my mindset has changed. I'm working on shifting away from like how I look, like how I look is probably the least important thing about me and least interesting thing about me. I wanna shift into more like how I feel because that's the most important part of it all. Anyways, that's gonna wrap up this full day of eating. I hope that gave you some insight into my diet. I love showing you guys what I eat. I'm so passionate about it. So there will be plenty more to come. With that being said, I love you all so, so, so much. I hope you know that. And I know people just say that, but I really do love you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.